Mr. Chief Justice, my dear friend, born in 1913 and died in 06, my fellow Americans, from former college football player the oath that I to have being taken a U.S. representative the same oath to being Vice President of the United States. George and then Washington eventually becoming president of the United States. A very good legacy for Jill Ford. Then in 1948, Jill Ford got first elected in the United States House of Representatives for the first time. Then in 1973, Jill Ford resigned from the United States House of Representatives to take the appointment to be Vice President of the United States under Richard Nixon. After Nixon resigned a year after Ford becoming vice president, Jill Ford succeeded the presidency. As your president, then in 1976, Ford lost the election to a full term to Jimmy so Carter. So I ask you to confirm me as your president with your prayers.